Welcome to another House of Lasers review. Uh, today we're going to go over the AC Infinity inline fan. Uh, we're going to do a couple of tests on several of their units along with the stock 6 inch unit that we get from the laser manufacturer. Well, some of us do. Once you get this puppy out of the box, you will see that it comes with directions, a remote control, you have mounting hardware, zip ties, uh, cable, uh, cable mounts, and some hose clamps. One of the frequently asked questions about this fan is, can you clean it easily? Well, as you can see here, it all comes apart. Uh, two clamps, uh, and you can take out the entire fan assembly and clean it. Pretty cool. You have two different types of controllers depending on the unit that you purchase. The S units come with the speed controller which has just variable settings. The T units come with a programmable and automatic um, display, digital display with temperature and humidity readings and timers and alarms, stuff that we may not necessarily use. The nice thing about it is that you can control two fans uh, from one controller, not individually, but you can turn them both on and off and program them uh, with one control unit. So now that you have a few basics, let's get into testing these. Now the AC Infinity versus the 1930s mechanical equipment motor uh, attached to a hamster wheel fan. Uh, typically this is inside of a box. I have removed the box uh, basically to get rid of the the rest of the noise that is typically created by these from vibration and and uh, metal against metal so uh, let's test these puppies and see how the inline ac affinities fare versus this monstrosity of a contraption Now I'm getting a warning that uh, that is a whole hell of a lot of decibels there. 82 dB. But let's see what kind of, let's see what it's pulling. And we're going to have to do a conversion of mile per hour to CFM. So the standard unit tested at, it leveled off at 33 miles an hour wind speed, which equated to 2,280 CFM. Now, of course, this is not running through any hoses, not restricted by anything. It's just uh, the six inch inlet and uh, straight out the back. All right, let's test the other ones and I'll, I'll try to put a chart together at the end of this. So our second test is going to be with the 6 inch AC Infinity in line. We have it currently at 6, level 6 for the fan speed and that is pulling 18.3, 19, I'm going to say uh, 19, 19, 2, 19. Uh, we'll say 18.8 and almost no noise coming from this fan. I'm going to up it and see if we can get close to that 33 that we pulled from the stock fan. Now obviously these are wide open. You would not be able to hear much of anything when it's running through a hose. This is level nine. And level 10. So we have the same CFM 
and we're at 73 decibels. All right, guys, so we're going to test the 8-inch, which has a 6-inch reducer on it um, going out the back at 8 inches. So I'm going to set it at a level 2, and let's see where it's at. Just keep on going up. I'll go up to a level five. And I think level six is right about the same as the loud stock unit. Well, we might have to go up one more. Also at 70, yep, about 71 dB. Let's turn it up a little bit more and see what we get max on this. That is level 10. We're at 80 dB. Alright, and for our final test, I'm going to do the 10 inch fan. This thing is a beast. It is insane, um, but let's just prove that with some numbers. So it's on level one right now. Level one, and we are at. A steady 17. Let me ramp it up. This is level five. I'll take this with me because at level 10 it will probably suck it right through. probably say that that is a 54. So a quick disclaimer, um, we use several different measuring devices to do this. Uh, I have a power meter on my house for my solar equipment, so I tested the power usage of in wattage. Um, I don't know how accurate all of these tests are. They're not, you know, scientific digital scales. These are just things that I have around that I could measure a baseline at and measure consistent at least with the equipment that we're using. The stock fan that came with our laser was pulling 380 watts of power. The AC Infinities pulled 80, 90, and 100 watts. So that's clearly an energy savings. The instant turn on um, when you turn on that that big motor was close to a thousand watts of power draw and then it slowly tapered off and dropped down to 380. The AC Infinities are a gradual um, ramp up to speed and ramp or uh, and lower down as you shut off. So there's never a huge draw instantaneously. As far as noise levels, we used an Apple Watch. Um, the don't be confused by the numbers because we were working with an ambient noise in the 60s uh, with the other fans that I had for cooling down my garage. Uh, but, but the AC Infinity is running through a tube uh, as opposed to running out in the open like that. They would be even quieter, uh, but they are very, very quiet already. For CFM and wind speed, we used a basic meter off of Amazon. Uh, it did the job. It gave us a comparison across the board of, of the different fans. And I, I have to say that for the money, um, the AC just outperforms in every aspect. And it saves you money in the long run with 
you know, with, uh, with power savings, along with saving your hearing and frustration and easy to clean. So there's so many benefits to running this fan setup. I will, however, recommend that you go with the biggest unit that one you can afford um, and go larger than your your system already have. So if you have a four inch, uh, definitely go with a six. If you have a six inch, go eight or 10. And this is going to be more than efficient for you. I'll also recommend that you go the largest tube out of the fan as possible. So if you have a six inch into an eight inch fan, I would recommend trying to get an eight inch out of the house. Um, or if you have the 10 inch fan, if you can get a 10 inch uh, tube out of the house, of course, you're, you're limited to what you can go in. And actually the decrease of size going into it will increase your CFM. Now going out, it creates kind of like a baffle effect or a um, back pressure. So if you can go eight to 10 inch out of the house, um, that's gonna work best and have a really, really good siphoning effect or, or flow. Uh, from what I've seen with my readings at m on my setups. So I hope this helped. Uh, another review in the books. I appreciate you guys tuning in, and this is just my two cents for what it's worth. Appreciate you guys joining House of Lasers. Um, we'll have another review for you soon. Thanks, guys. <laughs>